Hello folks, and welcome to Evergreen Valley. And yep, we're here because we've answered the call to help. To help out with this brand new area which is booming with farming and mining opportunities. And yep, so I thought, on the uh, bit of a breaking out, been farming in Europe for years now and... Yep, I heard about an opportunity to help out some mining communities over here and the farming communities. But, as soon as I got here, yeah, play seems to be a bit off, it's been, I'm not sure how to describe it, it's well monitored, a bit more monitored than you expect for a normal city, but, yeah, so let's go and head over to Cleaver Motors, because apparently we need to pick up a vehicle, let's go and cross, to help us on our journey, so what we're going to be doing is, Things like helping with the mining industry, helping with the farming industry, so contracts and all that is good. But yeah, here we are at the deer ship. And I do have a plethora of equipment for sale. Ooh. Nice John Deere turbo with some huge SW motors. Got some GCB trucks here. So yeah, there's a heavy booming market over here. So yeah, got mines up here, got ore mine, got the marble mine, and even the coal mine. And yeah, we're here to help Authority, so... Yeah, the Authority. That doesn't really sound too promising, but... Yeah, I think as we go around, we'll find out more about the local area, more about the Authority and that. So yeah. Okay, no, we need to go around the front to go to the shop and that, because, yeah, we need to pick up our vehicle, so... Come out of here, shut the gate behind us. So let's go and head in here. And yeah, we'll see where our truck is, or whether it's a truck or a tractor, I do not know. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, we need to head down the road. Yeah, apparently we need to pick up our pickup at a Kubota workshop area, so it's somewhere down here. But yep, yeah, obviously, yep, yeah, sort of spoke to a couple of people now whilst just waiting on for information that. And yeah, seems like once upon a time, this whole area and like surrounding areas used to be like a desert wasteland in a way. But thanks to the oil industry and that, which still has a foothold over here, yep, yeah, the area has been transformed. Apparently, a man, a myth, a legend, a bearded legend came along. But yeah, don't know too much about that. Just for the glimpse in rumours. But yeah, like, this is a beautiful area. Like, having like a house here in the suburbs of the town and that, within the town itself, that would be nice to have. But yeah, we've only got $500 to our name. Yeah, so I think the Kubota workshop is somewhere down here. So yeah, there we go. Here we are at the Kubota workshop. Huge war towers and that, so... But yeah, even though it used to be an oil industry, and yeah, it's heavily on war, they do have some good turbines and that. So panel as well, so... But yeah... Where in the hell was our pickup? Is it in the workshop, maybe? Let's go near. And I'm guessing that is our pickup. Oh my god, it's like. It's rusted, dirty as hell, and that. So, what do we have here? So, we've got some adders, got a wheelbarrow. And yeah, have we've got a shovel, some buckets, and a few a few cans of diesel. So yeah, we've got the keys. Okay, make sure everything like so are on. Beacons are working. I'll guess in let's head out of here. So yeah. I'm gonna to to speak to someone because I need work, I need a job in that. And yeah. 
Let's go ahead and head down here. Because, yeah, apparently it seems like the mining heresies help clearing out a bit. There's farming jobs. We've got new equipment and being a noble over here, I doubt the local farmers is going to let us use our own equipment, so most likely what we're going to need to do is borrow some equipment from the authority and yeah, use that to help us get some farming done. But yeah, the farm water first. So we need to head, head this way, head right out of here. But yeah, let's go head up to the mines. And yeah, and see if they need any help clearing anything. So yeah, we'll head up here. Over the Wiggity Bridge. Because yeah, the goal I want to do here is just help out the community. Get myself established, get myself a foothold here in the States. So we'll see what's up. Massive crane up there. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna head to the mines and then we'll see where it goes from there. And there we are, as we're approaching the mine, like see that the modern donkeys here, got the fuel refinery over here. And I've seen like you know think for an air that has transformed itself from a desert it's waste sand, or at least the area surrounding it being a desert waste sand. Still, yeah, sort of, it blends into the countryside. Countryside? Not sure you can call it a countryside, but blend into the area. But yeah, I have been tipped a wink on some things we can do. Things like excess material removal, things like ores, stones, marble, and even some logs that like around the forestry areas and that. Apparently there's some bit of dead for that, so we've got a few things we can do. And also another thing is we've got to be careful of our money is because at the moment, since we don't have a place to stay, so I thought, yeah, let's just sleep in our truck and that. However, we can't do that for some reason. We told explicitly we can't do that. But say at the hotel now, and that costs us 250 bucks a night. So like literally half our money for when we go into October. Yeah, so like hmm interest is put that way, you need to be careful here because there is Yeah explosives going off somewhere. But yeah, things like wars now, so we told to come over here, so we'll head up here. As we do have permission to access these areas, otherwise just bother when it is up now when it is in. But yeah, this is a huge mine, like let's go over here and just have a look, like see there's a bunch of excess material here. And yeah, they're, they're mining ore and that. <coughs> and things like, yeah, I do wonder what do they want us to do in that. So, let's figure out where the office is. So, there, maybe. Got a huge section of trucks in that. What's this here? Is this marble or something? Because I know. Yeah, the marble mine's up here, so... I'm guessing this is the office over here now, so... There we go, let's pull over here a sec. And yeah, I'm gonna have a little chat. And figure out what's what, and what do you need doing. Alrighty then, so yep. Yeah. Constructive it was, had a good chat with a little fellow over here, young young couple Nat, running this entire mine operation, not just one section, they're working everything, like working the ores, they're working the marble and the coal mine. Obviously they do it under 
under run by the authority, but the day to day operations, good little German couple that in their mid 20s and that. But yeah, so our first task is they want some of this excess marble here, like, because obviously, yeah, get these huge saps off marble and that. And yeah, they do have a very efficient operation, but so see around the grounds and that, and round up here and that, there's excess loose marble that needs removing. So they said we can remove it. We're not going to get paid for it. However, we can sell anything we get from this. So I'm going to unstrap everything. So I'm guessing the ladders for now. Yeah, I need to figure out somewhere to store these ladders because I don't think we need these ladders all the time. Maybe the one, the big ladder for. Actually, can we use the small ladder to get the wheelbarrow on? But yeah, I'm not sure on that. It's off of here. Yeah, so who's yeah, that you like? Let me get the buckets. Actually, I do wonder, can I just fill up the buckets like so? So, yes, we can. Oops, Ooh, careful. I'm guessing that's doing something. So, yeah, I'm just going to shut these buckets out because, yeah, I think we've got one, two, three, four. How many buckets did they give us? Like, six, seven, eight, nine. But yeah, let's go and grab the shovel. There we go. And yeah, so looks like we need to scoop all this up. There we go. And yeah, let's simply dump it. Man, this is gonna take forever, like clearing all this excess marble and that. Obviously, it's not just marble and that, marble, stones, or ore and that, extracting. Because I have been told as well as things like... One thing they want to do as well is like, you may have seen when we came in, like there was a couple of like, dead trees and that. Not those trees that are fully grown, but around the edges of all the mines are some dead trees. And they want those to be removed as well, so... Fair enough. But yeah, I'm wondering with this... Got a full 500 litre load of marble. Can we get this on? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm guessing that's why we had the ladders. We'll shut that down so the fuel. The small ladder to get away with it. So, I'm thinking something literally like this. So, just plunk it down. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get us on, so... Ooh. I wonder... There we go, come on, get on. Okay, we may need a bit of a run up here. So let's go charge. Oh no. Ah, slides off. Maybe if I try to do it level, like, go straight. Straight up, straight up, straight up. There we go, so we've got... Got that on. We'll shut those down. And now let's grab these buckets. Fill up with marble. I was like, where can we sell the marble in that? So if we head down here. So we're looking at around ooh, marble marble. So yeah, had a little look and Best price at the moment is for about 400 quid for this, for a thousand year bucket. Ouch, 400 quid. But saying that, yeah, we're only at 500 quid at the moment. I think these are, sorry, a hundred year buckets, not a thousand year buckets. But yeah, like, how much money can we get from this? Because if we're clearing this off, 
sure he's got payoff in that. Yeah, I'm here to work in that, don't get me wrong. I want to contribute the, to the community and all that, as much as any other person would, but I'm not doing this for subtle and that. So otherwise, I will rise up and cause a little revolution in that. So yeah, working my ass off in that for subtle money. A man needs to make his living, simple as that. He needs to put food on the table for ourselves and that. Yeah, 750 250 quid. Just to stay in a hotel now, like. I'm half tempted to look, look for a tent in that. Find somewhere secluded in the woods. Yeah, I know the authority owns all the woodland, but. I'm not paying £250 a night. Screw that. But, yeah. I don't know. I seriously don't know, like, something like, seriously, this is going to take forever to do, and... Is everything in the used market? Oh, it'd be good to have a tractor in that. Yeah, it was at 85 horsepower for 10 grand. There is a trader. Just having a little look. 12,000 litres for 16 grand second hand. But things like having a little look, there are some other options we've got, so something like that. Do we lease a trailer? Because we can lease that. £130 to lease it. Anyways, we'll head back to the main town anyways, because that's where we're sending it. We're sending it to... Surprisingly, it's a export near the Kubota dealership, so... Actually, I think it's on the lot in that, actually. Looking looking around, looking on our PDA in that. Because, yeah, we need to... Like, go, yeah, go over here, sell everything over here, so... Who knows, but yeah. Let me get us all loaded up. And then, yep, yeah, I'll meet folks back in the town. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from here. And there we go. Back in the town. And, yep, yeah, I'll just be feet. Let's pull over here a sec. There we go. Put our hazards on. So, yeah, I'm thinking. We've got 960 litres of diesel. We can make, what, about two grand from that? A grand and a half or so? And yeah, might as just sell that. And if we need diesel, in the future we can just purchase it ourselves now. We get a little jerry cans and that. Rather than a big pallet of cans, there's because you buy these individually. Like, we've only got an 80 litre fuel tank on this. And yeah, I'm thinking, let's just go and sell this, so... Go and put it to the left here. Because, yeah, the commodity ship is just over here. So, yeah, let's go and sell the diesel. And then, yeah, let's go and sell all the lime. So, because, yeah, we need a train now because this ain't gonna work. So, right, so we're selling the diesel. Yeah, and what? Seriously, I'm tempted to leave this here, like... So yeah, two grand for that. Not too bad. But what about for all of the actual marble now? Because, yeah, 1,700 litres. So, each little bucket... ...is what? Let me see, that was it. 46 bucks. Per bucket. I mean, like, seriously, like, you've got to be joking me, like, come on. Yep, 46 bucks. Oh, God, like, I'm glad we sold that fuel. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll put this all back near me, don't worry, but. Seriously, that is 
totally messed up. I'm just frustrated I am, like... And yeah, I don't mean to sound difficult or pessimistic or anything like that, but... Yes, I know it's ain't a golden mine, but... If you hear a bit of gold rush and that, it's... Working so that, like snow and that, it's like... You can make millions, potentially, in that. But what was that, like, the American Dream to become a millionaire in that? But apparently the American Dream is nothing more than... a fraud in that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a fraud, because, yeah, look, after all that, that is, yeah, two grand of that, but from di the diesel being sold, £500 $500 is what we started off with, so 2600 bucks. and, yeah, that other 700 bucks is from the marble in that. Yeah, I know yeah, it doesn't seem like much work in that, but... Uh, but yeah, we need that trade in that, so... Let me get this all loaded back up, like, I'm thinking... Can we, like, sell the wheelbarrow in that, because... Yeah, because I'm thinking, if we can sell the wheelbarrow... And yeah, we can get 23 bucks per bucket. And yeah, remember, like... For each bucket, we're only making, what, 46 pounds or 46 bucks f per, so, yeah, but I do apologize for saying pounds now, you know, you, I'm used to Europe and the United Kingdom, so, moving to the States and that, yeah, so not quite accustomed to, but yeah, if you can sell the small ladder, Keep the big ladder for loading on because that may be helpful in that. Because, yeah, if we do like that, because of the angle to pick up in that, strap that down and then wheel this on. There we go. Oof. But actually, we can sell all this. Sell all this excess crap back to the authority. Because, yeah, so all we need is really just a shovel. A shovel, a decent bed size, like. I was hoping this could carry some stuff, but apparently it can't. So, yep. Yeah. Let me get this all loaded up, and then, yep, yeah, I'll see you folks at the deer ship. And hopefully the authority doesn't kick me out, because, yeah. I am a bit hot-headed, so I'll admit to that. And, alright, so... Yeah, I've made... Took the gamble. Gone with a slightly different trailer. This has got a... Huge capacity of... 11,000 litres, so... Yes, yeah, take the cover off. This is going to cost us... £200 to rent initially. Hundred dollars, ah, yeah, something like per day and per hour in total is kind of a hundred or so bucks in that. So, yeah, we need to make a light work of this. I don't worry, we've still got a little trusty shovel somewhere. There's a shovel, yeah, sitting off the bed, it did. So, yeah, let's go and pop you back on. Try to strap down. Oh, yeah, that doesn't have any tinge straps whatsoever. But I'm sure we could do something about like taking the boards off the sides, maybe, and that. But yeah, so we've got a lot of work to do ahead of us. And yeah, actually, what? It's approaching dinner time, so we're going to be working up the mines all day, so let's pull into the petrol station. Pop up with any fuel we need, and then yeah, we'll go and grab a bit of lunch to take up with us. So yeah, 15 bucks of fuel. So yeah, let's head into the shop, grab some food, and then yep, yeah, we'll go from there. So there we go, that is a another three bucks spent. So yeah, lunch was ten bucks, just some sandwiches and that, and a 
bottle of zesty Coca Cola. But yeah, so the other 20 bucks was we head to the dealership, not dealership, the Kubota workshop. Because iron was washing, it's like, I just want to see like, how much rust this has on it. Because yeah, if it's too much rust, then yeah, I need to check the chassis and that. Because that's the thing, if it's all surface rust or rust is on the body, then you know what? That's fine, I can live with that. But if the rust goes through the chassis rails and that, anything structural, then that is going to be a problem for us. So let's go and get a jet washer a sec. So yeah, there we go, got the car sure here. Slightly elevate the suspension a little bit. Because yeah, I just want to see how much ripe is here. Oh, was it restricting pressure already? Let's use this one then, because yeah. Need to get to all the sides. Let's get right underneath and just yeah. That's the thing, if we need a new pickup in that, man, that could easily cost us thousands, if not tens of thousands of pounds. Even something like this, an old pickup in that. Get one in decent condition nowadays, you're looking at around three to five grand. I think the bed itself looks good in that, also like bed liner in that. Yeah, it looks like it's got a big bed liner or something. But yeah, I'll continue washing this off. To the point I am satisfied we've got everything. And that is all she has got to offer and I think overall decent job in that, but yeah, still quite rusty in that. As far as I can gather, it's only surface rust, so maybe you can get that worked on in that. So otherwise, if I need a, another safe pickup, it says, with all the options, now we're looking at six, seven grand. And at the moment, we need money at the moment, because I need money for a tractor in that. And yeah, like, yeah, 3,000 pounds is good. But I want to get £10,000 so we can buy a tractor and that. Oh yeah, so yeah, something like that, ten grand and that, not too bad. But it may come to the point where we need to say, you know what? We need to lease out stuff, we need to lease equipment. That's what we're doing at the moment, we're leasing everything. And I think for the foreseeable future, that's going to be the path for us, like, we're in no positions at whatsoever to own stuff and that. Because, yeah, like, farmland, you're looking at minimum six figures, a hundred grand for a plot of land. Maybe we could try to speak to your authority in that, either get like a lease in that or a permit or something to work on their land in that. We pay them X amount a month. And then, yeah, we can do whatever we want, or what we can do within reason. Things like cutting trees down, logging. So yeah, like a couple of these trees here, like, these are some big healthy trees. They've took years to grow, so they do have a value, they are in demand. But yeah, so we need to go up this way. Get up here, then up to the mine. Well, yeah, so we do have options for contracts. There are some plan contracts needed, but yeah, how much is for to lease a tractor and that? So, what's well, something around 100 horsepower or so? So, yeah, ooh, 33 grand. 70, 1700 to lease.
Do I have money to lease that? 1300. Yeah, we need six to use the smaller equipment because. But yeah, even then. 3200 for that. Oh, yeah, there is some good options. Uh, yeah, like. I oh, saw so this for sale in the dealership. The Deutz for Agrisar 6.6. Was it a 6.6 .6 or a 7.1 or something like that? There's the John Derby Swat dealership. That is 7 grand. Decent. How much is that to lease? 382 quid. But yeah, I'm thinking around 100 horsepower, so. Yeah, let's say we're going to lease that. That's going to be. 1400 quid. 1500 for the tires. Front loader, 1550. And then for front loader, ooh. 1550. So yeah, that's about 1900 quid so far. And then the bucket and that. So yeah, we're looking at two grand win. Just to help out with our work and that, what we're doing at the moment. But if we want to plow some fields and that, how much is that going to cost us? Like, that is another 900 quid almost. Yeah, but I need for the cheaper options. Yeah, we're looking at 500 quid, so. All in all, to borrow stuff, we're looking at three grand in that for the farming aspect. Let's trade on that because I think with this, for all the hardship and that, of yeah, loading this trade up, I think we can achieve what we need to do. So, yeah, leave it to me. We've got some lunch, and yeah, so. What I'm going to do now is head back to the marble mine, get the rest of the marbles, and then, yeah, we'll go from there and see how much money we can make. It's alright, it is almost 1pm, and yeah, so we've got our first load here, and yeah, we need to go this way, I think. We have to try and remember where everything is. So yeah, we've got our first load of the loose marble and that. And yeah, things like the marble blocks and that. They're worth ten times as much compared to this. Oops. There it is, there's a bridge. Yeah, they need to make a sign or something for that. So you can bridge this way. But, ooh. Trader does not like this. Last thing I want to do is dump this in the drain because I think we will definitely be in trouble if we do end up polluting this river and that with marble. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, that's a new problem. <laughs> that is a new problem to have. So once again, we'll just set it to here, near the Kaboom Workshop, and the yeah, entrance is just to the left of the fire station. As you pass it on this direction. Yeah, sorry, didn't mean to cut that tanker there. Ooh, that could have ended badly. So yeah, there we go. And yeah, I'm just curious to see how much ladder. All skipping away. Five grand, six grand. Come on, keep on going. Can we get to ten grand? Oh, not quite. But yeah, five grand for that. It's not too shabby. So yeah, let's go and move this ladder a sec. We yeah, have five grand for that loot. I am thinking, perhaps the American dream is on, but. 
Honestly, you know what? I don't know. I'm still a bit wary now with everything with the locals, with the authority and that, and just everything else. Because, in a way, it seems too good to be true now, if that makes any sense to anyone. Yeah, you know, like, you come here because, yeah, we heard reports of asking for help and that. Yeah, it's still going to be a struggle in that. So, yeah, we're at eight grand at the moment. And, like, seriously, we start looking at the lease and stuff, so... Things like the tractor and plow to get these contracts and that, so... I'm going to take a gamble, so... Alright, it's going to be 1,400... Let's just say the big tires and that. Forget about anything else, and actually... I want to go with these, because, yeah, the more traction we have, the better, and BKT provides the best traction, so, yeah, let's say 1500 for all six and arguments. Combine that with a plow. But yeah, I've got 150 horsepower, though, so, if we go to plows, yeah, there's 260 horsepower required. So yeah, realistically it's going to be like one of these. But again, it was only barely a horsepower requirement. Perhaps, actually, <coughs> we go with... Uh, what's it? There is an old class up here. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, ooh. Let's get to the, yeah, five grand though. That's 4,700. Plus the plow. How much is that going to be? Ooh. Over five grand. And you know what? We can do these contracts. And overall, we will just be about profitable. But then again, is do we have a need for the tractor and that? See, so yeah, I want to have a little look here. See, so yeah, we've got some plows out. We've got a few fields ready to harvest. But they have not come up yet, so. I am. Yeah, I am curious on that, but. Yeah, we've got plans to do here. We can do grass work and that, potentially. Eight and nine, have they popped up? So yeah, silage work or hay work and that. But we can't use equipment on that, so... And again, for that, mowers and baders. I have not even looked at that yet, so... For a mower... Mowers... Let's see if we get, oh, go that, seven meters, or the bat wing. That's going to be an additional 700 quid. Then we're going to need a wind rower. And yeah, 15 grand for that. That's going to be another 800 bucks and a beater and a wrapper. I don't like this. I really do not like this. Like, that on its own is 1100 quid. <coughs> and the beaters and that. Ooh. There are some cheaper options here. That's a square beater and that. But yeah, a lot of this we'll, ha we'll need to consider on that. Maybe it's worth doing a couple more loads than that, and then, yeah, next time we can get some of this work done on that, get these contracts up for the community and that, because I think with, uh, with things like bathing and harvesting contracts, I'm sure, yeah, it just does not seem to, yeah, like, ooh, 11 grand out for a contract. For someone like me, a new kill on the block to come, and all of a sudden they earn tens of thousands of dollars within a month or two. 
yeah, I think that's going to raise a few red flags, so perhaps I need to do a bit of research, speak to the locals and that. And yeah, figure out how it all works now, because, yeah, it seems like a tight community. In a way, it's almost like a communist community in a way. We're not strictly communist in a way, if you know what I mean, but, yeah, I don't know. There's too many, too many things to that's not known at the moment. Well, yeah, so I think that's where we're going to leave it today. So, next time, contracts, yay or nay, is a maybe. I'll keep on cracking on with doing the line work for the time being. Or at least we're told to stop in that. But, yeah, there may be things like at the coal mine that needs to do in that. I mean, they are only doing what's being asked of us buy this stuff to German couple and that. They seem nice and that, but yeah. It's not I see the bad in everyone. I am wary of my surroundings and that. Luckily that tr yeah, there's no barriers as well, like that tree could have hit us. And that would be it. After one episode we get killed for that. But yeah. All on the bright side that. But anyways as always, hope you enjoy these episodes. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please stir. But, where I choose to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.